At the conclusion of the angiographic procedure, retract the procedural sheath so that no more than 10 centimeters remains in the patient. The Cardiva catalyst wire is inserted into the vessel through the hub of the existing introducer sheath and the disc is deployed. The introducer sheath is removed over the Cardiva catalyst wire. As the sheath is removed, the catalyst disc will track and seat at the arteriotomy opening. Applying upward tension to the wire secures the catalyst disc firmly against the intima, providing temporary hemostasis. During disc dwelling, the smooth muscle of the vessel relaxes, causing the large dilated arteriotomy to recoil back to its original 18-gauge needle stick diameter. Retracting the white gripper by gently applying tension exposes the arteriotomy and tissue tract to the proprietary catalyst hemostatic coating with localized protamine sulfate. The application of localized protamine sulfate is designed to neutralize the effects of heparin in the tissue tract at the puncture site. Once heparin is neutralized, the catalyst hemostatic coating stimulates the intrinsic and extrinsic pathways of the coagulation cascade, encouraging the body's natural healing process. Platelets are also activated in this environment due to the original arteriotomy injury. As the result of these powerful coagulation factors, Fibrin and clot is formed at a rapid rate. The coagulation process continues to propagate throughout the local environment. Prior to removal, the artery is located proximal, superior to the catalyst clip. Apply and maintain occlusive pressure to the artery. To remove the device, the disc is collapsed and the device removed by gently depressing the actuator. As a natural consequence of elastic recoil, the tissue of the vessel is allowed to oppose much better, resulting in a faster, stronger healing process. After the device is removed, apply hemostatic pressure to the arteriotomy site to obtain final hemostasis.